from the famous Moulin Rouge in Hollywood, people-pleasing Peter Paul Dream Miniatures, indescribably delicious, and Alberto Culver, makers of Rinse Away for clean, healthy, attractive hair and scalp, present... Starring the one and only king for a day, Mr. Jack Bailey. <laughs> How about that? Thank you very much, and welcome once again to Queen for a Day. And thank you, girls. You're a um, good group. Thank you all. But say, before we go any further, there is one thing I want to know. Would you like to be queen for a day? Yeah. Well, all right. That's that, and that's all settled, and we can get on with our festivities here. You know, there's a long, low, gorgeous, gold imperial limousine waiting outside. It's waiting for today's queen, and we'll have a queen for it very shortly, and we'll be meeting number one in just one minute. Meanwhile, for clean, healthy, attractive hair and scalp, Here's an important message from Rinse Away. It's my job to see this family has clean, healthy hair and scalp. That's why we use Rinse Away, the medicated rinse. We wouldn't miss our Rinse Away rinse. By using it regularly, we don't have dandruff. Rinse Away's two-minute treatment guarantees the clean scalp that permits healthy, attractive hair. Here's why clean scalp is important. Your hair roots must breathe. Or there's trouble, deep trouble, dandruff, flakes of dried skin, dulling film. Rinse Away with its deep down medicated cleansing action helps remove all these troublemakers and allows your scalp to breathe from one treatment to the next. That's Rinse Away, clean scalp dandruff control for your entire family. Now take advantage of this special offer. Regular dollar size rinse away plus free 35 cent value tube of Alberto VO5 hairdressing and conditioner, both for one dollar while supplies last. Hurry. Say, hey, let's talk to our first candidate, and you got a big smile, and you're going to start us off with dimples, too. I'm glad to see you. Jewel Ellis? Uh huh. That's Mrs. Mrs. You haven't been married very long, have you, Ms. Ellis? About two years and a half. Wonderful. What's your hubby do? He works in the um, fluid pack comp company in Los Nietas, and he makes the uh, pipes that go in the oil driller. Where is Los Nietas? Well, it's about a mile and a half out of Whittier. Oh, is that so? Well, that's something. Do you have children? No. Huh? What do you want if you're queen for a day? You've got a pretty good idea here. And wait a minute. What were you elected? What did it say on the back of your card? Something unusual about you? You were elected the... President. President of what? I was president of the Future Business Leaders of America. Uh, did you win that in school? In a school con election. Well, it's worldwide. It's all over the world. That's uh, wonderful. And you were your school's president? Of uh, the district, Orange County. Well, I bet you were proud of that. Now, what do you want if you're queen? I would like a washing machine, an automatic washing machine, and two tires. Now, you've got a little uh, business idea with the washing machine. What are you going to do? Well, I'd like to take in washing to help pay for some bills that we got while we were out. Of, my husband was out of a job. And here he is, married to the professional businesswoman of the world. An international thing, and uh, he got out of work. Yes. He didn't listen to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're going to help out Dad a little bit while he's, uh, things are a little slow at your house. What, why did you say two tires? Have you got a two-wheel car? Well, about uh, three or four months ago, we bought two brand-new tires, and that's one of the bills that I was talking about. And then not so long ago, well, the other two were out, and we can't drive the car very much now. Yeah. And he's working, and it's important that he, you keep going. Yes, very important. And you're going to help out by taking in some washing, and it would help you if you had an automatic washer, right? It sure would. All right. If you're elected our queen, and that'll help you, we're sure going to do it, okay? Thank you. Goodbye, me. Dimples. Thank you very much. Now, that's nice. And there you go. And now, here's Jack with a wish from out of the past. Another wish to remember. Well, not too long ago, on last August 23rd, as a matter of fact, our queen was Miss Effie Gates, a home study teacher from the city of San Diego. Her wish was for a special bed to exercise the arms and legs 
of one of her formal, former pupils paralyzed in an accident. Well, sir, in granting her wish, we discovered that the best equipment for her young friend, Richard Ellingston, was simply a new bed, or I should say a new kind of bed, which we got from the Southern California sales office of the Depew Manufacturing Company in Sierra Madre, California. Now, best of all, Richard soon discovered that it allows him to assume any position he wants simply by operating the electrical control, or to put it in Richard's words, that self-propelled circoelectric bed has made him a big wheel in his own bedroom. Isn't that cute? But big wheel or not, Richard's doing just fine, thanks to a friend, a wish, and a wheel. And now before we meet our next candidate, here is Gene Baker with delicious news about Peter Paul Dreams miniatures. Will you carry on? Thank you, Jack. And may I steal one while you're talking? Why not? <laughs> you know, when the crowd congregates at your house or when the children charge home after play, there are only two things to do. Look out or be prepared. Sure, be prepared with these people-pleasing candy treats, Peter Paul miniatures. So quick and easy to serve and enjoy because they're the right size. They're bite size. And how about taste? Indescribably delicious. Here's Peter Paul Mounds Miniatures. Pure, thick chocolate and tender, juicy coconut. Mm-mm, Mounds. And boy, Almond Joy Miniatures. Triple treats of smooth milk chocolate, coconut, and whole toasted almond. Now for Dreams Miniatures. Dreamy delights of real milk chocolate and Peter Paul's famous tender, juicy coconut. Look no further, ma'am. Head for your candy counter today. Take home these bright, colorful packages of people-pleasing candy from Peter Paul. So handy to have in your house, always. Mounds Miniatures, Almond Joy Miniatures, Dreams Miniatures. Indescribably delicious. That's right, Gene, and everybody else. Peter Paul Dreams Miniatures. Indescribably delicious. Hey, here's another pretty lady all dressed up with polka dots here. Carol Williams? Yes. Where are you from? San Jose. Yeah? What are you doing down here? You having a little visit? Yes, with uh, my husband's parents. Yeah, where were you born? In Reading. In Reading? Yes. Were you, have you lived in the South? You have kind yes, of... Yes, I have. Well, I thought there was a little Southern dialect leaking through. <laughs> where about in the South? Well, I've lived in Long Beach and mostly in oh. Bakersfield. Well, <laughs> that's way South. This is a real Southern girl. That's 40 miles South of here. And we... <laughs> you, did you marry a Southerner? Uh, he's from Delano. Delano what? California. Well, and let's forget the whole thing. Well, Carol, what does your husband do, Mr. Williams? He works for Westinghouse in Sunnyvale. Good. You can be sure if you're a Westinghouse-er. Yes. What do you want if you're queen for today, Carol? Educational aids and a collie dog for my oldest son. Yeah? Your oldest son? Yes, well, now, listen, Grandma. Huh? Five and a half. I have two boys. <laughs> He's a real old guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and how old's your other? He's two. You got two boys? Yes. And now, why do you need educational toys? Something happened to the five-and-a-half-year-old boy? Yes. Uh, last Easter Sunday, he, uh, they had found he had a brain tumor. Oh, for heaven's sake. And uh, they operated on him that Sunday, yes. and uh, they couldn't get the root. Uh-huh. And they still didn't after radiation treatment. Yes. And it has slowed him down. Sure it has. And he, it'll help him a lot in school. You bet your life. See, you got an awful nice smile there, too, Carol. Thank you. And what's his name? His name is Ricky. Old Ricky. Now, he needs some special uh, educational toys. Yes. And uh, he wants a collie dog? Yes, he does, more than anything. Yeah? You want a girl dog or a boy dog? Uh, he wants a girl, but... Yeah. All right, Mike. Yeah, I get the message. All right, sweetheart. You only want one dog, don't yes. you? Yes. Yeah, all right. Now, that if you're elected our queen, it'd be a pleasure to help old Ricky out and you. And you out better as well, Mother. So we get the educational leads, and we'll get the collie dog, and we'll send them all to your house, and we may have a half a pound of dog food, too, okay? Thank you. Thank you, and good luck to you, Carol Williams. You go there with Uncle Ed. And now here she is, Miss Jean Cagney. Thank you. Our fashions today have that distinctive flair that attracts second glances and compliments wherever they go. And our busy queen will soon be wearing lovely styles from these same designers. For instance, this smart two-piece from Nardis of Dallas. It's of a textured cotton and a soft green stripe, and the slim skirt is topped by a double-breasted jacket that's widely collared and boldly belted. And her doubly delightful double orange lipstick is just one of the exciting beauty aids that our queen will find in this quick tripper of selected cosmetics from the individualized studios of Merle Norman. 
Our lady on the go will appreciate the wondrous easy care ways of all her smart blouses from ship and shore. This gray fawn pop-on is of cotton, richly embroidered. And to keep her up to the minute all through her busy schedule, Her Majesty will wear an exquisite jewel-studded watch, queen for a day, crafted for lifetime accuracy by Helbros. Rich shades of plum and olive blend in the batik print of this shirt waister from Serban of Miami. The cluster pleated skirt flares below the trim bodice that features roll-up sleeves. And our queen will put her best foot forward on every occasion, wearing any one of her six pairs of new shoes from the distinctive styles of designer Grace Walker. A diagonally cut band accents the slender line of this red and gray check dress by Marjorie Montgomery of California. Note the flattery of the roll collar and the softly bloused bodice. A chain of dainty golden links is twined with a strand of pretend pearls in this unique jewelry. Sarah Coventry calls it gracious lady. And Mr. Mort, Taylor's slate gray flannel in dramatically simple lines for this all-round charmer. The uh, bodice back is a mass of tucks above a brilliantly plaid sash. Soft grays, warm browns, and gay pastels are featured in the colors in the new mood of Mojudge Sheer Nylons, and Her Majesty will have pairs and pairs. And for gala evenings, Emma Dome style this cocktail dress of flame red chiffon. The skirt flares wide over petticoats of taffeta and net, and the draped bodice is highlighted by straps embroidered in sequins and pretend pearls. My clothes are from Irene Somerset of the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. I thank you. And go everywhere fashions from these same designers will add exciting glamour to the future of our queen today. Hong Kong, one of the most fascinating cities in the world. A melting pot where East meets West. Its streets teem with adventure. Its dark corners are breeding places for international intrigue. Hong Kong, an exciting concept in television drama, starring Rod Taylor. Hey! We love you! And Lloyd Buckner with Jack Crucian. You got a hole in your head. What are you talking about? Look, I can see it. It's right there. 38 caliber. There's excitement every step of the way. Thrill piled upon thrill in the full hour action series you won't want to miss. In Hong Kong, every week on most of these ABC stations. On the trail of a hot story, Glenn Evans tangles with the law on Hong Kong tonight on ABC TV. Incidentally, see how group psychoanalysis can help real people find solutions to their problems. See Road to Reality at 2.30 this afternoon. Over most of these, I've lost my blocks. ABC stations. I just gave, just gave me one block today. See? <clears throat> well, here's another lady. Everyone's smiling so far. What are you telling them on the way up here? That's good. How you feel? <laughs> Nervous. You a little shook up? Yes. Well, they all, they all get a little shook up. Clarice? Clarice. Clarice. Clarice Singer? Yes. Well, I'm glad to see you. Where do you make your home, Miss Singer? Oh, in Los Angeles. Is your husband a singer, or what does he do? No, he works for O'Keefe and Merritt. He's the serviceman. That's good. I hope there's a lot of busted stoves where you live. You got a family? Yes, I have one boy, 11. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's his name? James Nicky. James Nicky Singer? Uh, well, no, he's by my first husband. Oh, well, all right. Then we won't get into that. It's none of our business. Now, Mrs. Singer, before you go into an utter collapse, which you're not going to go into, what do you want if you're queen? Uh, Ouch! Boy, what'd you do? You used to milk cows? This girl really squeezing here. That's I'm good. Nervous. Squeeze, huh? I'm nervous. Yeah, well, I'll be have a withered hand here, but oh, oh go ahead. What do you want if you're queen? Um, I would like a special wheel bed, uh, a special wheel cot bed for my paralyzed brother who is paralyzed from the chest down. How'd that happen? Well, uh, he was mistaken for somebody else, and uh, he was shot five times in the back. Good night! And this was now eight years, and he's yes. uh, living, uh, lying on his stomach. Oh, because of yes. the wounds and stuff? Yes. They've operated on him a lot, yes. but um, he just lives like that, and uh -huh. uh, he's very courageous. <laughs> well, so are you. He and you're doing fine now, don't you, by George? Listen, did you say he helped you? His, his mother was at work or something? What yes, uh, he underpinned my mother's house for her. And, uh, Good for he, him. He rolls around and waxes the floor because she's old, 
Oh, she's in her late 70s, yes. and she has sugar diabetes and uh, high blood pressure, and she could just go any time. Yes. She's not supposed to get excited, and she, uh, just him and her live alone, and she takes care of him by herself. None of them will come and help her. And you want one of these wheel cot beds so he can get around better? Yes, sir. Well, that's what we'll get for you if you're elected. Huh? Because they've been wonderful to me, and I'd like to make this wish come true for her if well, I can. Of course you would. You told it like a million bucks. Good luck to you. And I got the best news you'll have today. You're all through. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, she said. Oh, boy. You want to get away from me. There's still lots more, so don't go away. But first, our sponsors will have their say. And they say that part two of Queen for Today is brought to you by new soapier Brillo, 99 squeezes in every Brillo soap pad. Haley's M.O., the triple action laxative, regular or flavored, and blue liquid whisk. Whisk gets all the wash completely clean. And now, before we meet our final candidate, here's a lady with a question that needs answering. Why is liquid whisk best for all kinds of family wash? Because this achievement of modern chemistry, liquid whisk, cleans everything powders can clean and also quickly cleans away deep dirt powders can't reach. Watch. This oily, grimy, deeply soiled piece of cloth is placed in a hoop. Half the cloth is covered with a mixture of a leading laundry powder and water, as concentrated as you can make it. The other half of the cloth is covered with liquid whisk. Now, watch what happens when the cloth is placed in hot water. See how whisk dissolves and penetrates, goes to work instantly, as no powder can. In just seconds, the dirt is loosened and separated from the cloth. Because it's a liquid, Whisk's deep penetration works into and through all your wash to get everything from party clothes to work clothes completely clean. So don't wait another wash to discover Whisk and get everything, all the wash, completely clean. Now we're going to meet our fourth candidate. What did I just tell you a minute ago? <laughs> I don't remember. I said we pulled three of them through. Don't you act up. You're looking fine. Beverly Dolan? Yes. You live around here? No, in Mount Angel, Oregon. Well, good for you. Oh, hey, what you doing up there? Why'd you move up there? Oh, to save money and live a little cheaper than you can in other yeah. places like this. And you wanted to raise your kiddies outside of the city? Yes. How many kiddies you got? Five. Well, that's quite a brood you got there and one husband. What does Mr. Dolan do? Is he a farmer up there or what? No, he runs an old folks home. Huh? He runs an old folks home. Say, I want to get that address for me and old Baker. If he's got a nice... Huh? We'd love to have you. Oh, well, we're mean and cranky, though. She runs an old folks' home. Oh. And she may be down here for business, Jean. And well, you're, I'm ready. You're holding up. All right. I'm here for a rest, and this isn't helping a bit. <laughs> this is no way to rest, is it? I'll tell you what we better do. We better find out what you want if you're our queen. Okay? All right. I want a big hole in the ceiling. Oh, well, you're kind of nutty here. There's a lady who wants a hole in the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You waited too long to get your rest. <laughs> what do you want it for? Well, we have a big old two-story house. It's 40 years old, and it's real drafty and cold, and we don't have any heat upstairs. And all the children are three years and under, and we Ooh, can't keep well, them covered. Yeah. They're always cold. Yeah. And if we had a hole in the ceiling, we could let the air from the one heater up there to warm the bedrooms. Before you, you this is the first time I've ever had anybody ask for a hole. We've been plastering holes for a long we time. a little plaster, too. You've got five kids under three? Three and under. you got twins? Yes. You better have. They. It'll never come out even if you didn't. We've been married four years. Well, so that's a of four. That, everything is fine. You're an awful nice lady, and I bet you have a nice place up there, but you're freezing to death, so we're going to put a hole in your ceiling right up here. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Beverly Dolan. There you are. very much. As you know, we always have gifts for our candidates as well as for our queen. Now and tell them so they understand it yeah, today. We always have gifts for our candidates as well as our queen. Is he right in? Just I give me 60 do. about that. I, I don't, don't think I you don't tell know how them to, clearly. I don't know how to say it any clearer than that. For instance, today, yeah. each lady interviewed. Now, this for the ladies that are not queen. That's right. They'll you understand that, Fran? Yeah. They'll receive this gleaming all-chrome rival protectomatic food slicer. It'll slice any food raw, frozen, or cooked. Slice at any thickness from paper thin to three quarters of an inch. Yes. Another gift is the Golden Anniversary Hamilton Beach mix set, beautifully styled in white with charcoal handle and trim. It weighs only two and a half pounds, and like all Hamilton Beach appliances, it's guaranteed for five years. Now, each candidate will also have a bottle of exotic fame perfume imported from Paris by Corday. 
Fame is the essence of triumph and is one of France's greatest and most exciting perfumes. True. And finally, we know that our guests will enjoy owning this whisper, quiet, light, and portable Dormeyer electric hair dryer. Three temperature settings allow evenly distributed airflow at all times. Now, in just a moment, we'll have the final voting. But first, here's a tune that everybody's singing, the new Brillo 99 Squeeze Calypso. Well, now, de pot was calling de kettle black, and de kettle was ashamed to answer back. Then de kettle got shined with a Brillo pad. Now it's de pot that's feeling bad. 99 squeeze is 99, makes the Brillo so pad. Shine, shine, shine. De soap keep working such a long, long time. 99 squeeze is 99. Hear me now, that's not all de Brillo soap pads got. The rust resistor sure helps a lot, as long as the pad keeps making soap oh mr rust he got no hope there's lots more soap to cut through the crust and rust resistor to resist the rust yes 99 squeezes 99 makes the brillo soap pad shine 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 the soap keep working such a long long time 99 squeezes 99 brillo soap pad shine 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 remember this new soapier brillo 99 squeezes in every pad. Brillo. Let's get a queen. We haven't got a queen. We've been here fooling around long enough. Right now, we'll have the queen elected by our friends in the audience. Number one was Mrs. Jewel Ellis. Mrs. Ellis and her husband have had some bad luck, and she would like to help uh, make some money for them. She would like a washing machine to take in washings, and they could use a couple of new tires. Your applause for candidate number one. Thank you. Number two is Mrs. Carol Williams. Mrs. Williams has two boys, and I believe a boy's named Ricky. He's uh, had some uh, brain damage and it slowed him down. She'd like some educational aids, and he is awful anxious for a collie dog. Number two. Thank you. Number three is Mrs. Clarice, Clarice Singer. She has a brother who was accidentally shot, or mistakenly shot, down there in Tennessee, and she would like a special wheel cot bed as he must spend his life on his stomach. Number three. Thank you. Number four, Mrs. Beverly Dolan. She and the gang moved on to a place up there in Oregon, and uh, they're having trouble heated. She has five children under three years old, and she would like a hole in the ceiling for the warm air and make some vents. Number four. <laughs> Number three. Number three is Mrs. Clarice Singer. And Mrs. Clarice Singer is a lady that was up here telling us about her brother. And it looks like, thank you, little duchess, it looks like you're the queen. You told it right, and you like to withered my hand squeezing it, but it's all worth it. I now crown you Queen Clarice. Queen for the day. Queen Clarice. <laughs> Your Majesty, here comes Marianne again, and she has the four dozen brilliant coronation red roses from our royal florist, Carls of Hollywood. Now the moment is here when we're going to grant your wish as our queen. We think we have the perfect appliance in mind for your brother. It's called the Baumgartner Hydro Level Cot, and is especially designed to make life easier for paralyzed patients and provide the ultimate in comfort in the process. It can be lowered or raised as desired, and we're sure it's just the ticket for your brother. And we're glad that we can do it. So much for your wish, Your Majesty. You'll also be going on a royal whirl of Hollywood with stops at such glamorous places as the Deluxe Knickerbocker Hotel, where you can lounge beside the pool or in your own royal suite, lunch with the stars at MGM Studio that provided us with a spectacular film version of Ben-Hur, dinner in the exotic Polynesian atmosphere of Don the Beachcombers, and finally the late show at the Statler Hotel's luxurious terrace room where Playmates of 1960 is still packing them in. But that's only the beginning. We have still more gifts for you, and here they come, the first of which is this beautiful Virtue Brothers dinette set. Now, it's finished in milk white with gleaming brass trim. The table has a durable Michaelite top. It's guaranteed to resist wear for years. And what's more, along with your Virtue Brothers table, you'll have not four, but six batching chairs, each with a form-fit back and foam rubber cushion. Well, your table will also be graced with the very finest of silver designed by home decorators in their lovely firelight pattern. Your prestige silver is a symbol of the hostess who cares the most. Next, we know both you and your family will enjoy using this completely portable Niki tape recorder made by Grundig Majestic in West Germany. It weighs less than six pounds, runs on tiny batteries, 
and may be used wherever you go. And now your majesty wants the curtains in the middle because here is your very own four-poster canopy bed. That's yours. From the Salem House Manufacturing Company, the most respected name in provincial furnishings, your bed comes complete with luxurious spread and matching canopy cover. Truly a gift fit for a queen. But that's not all. Please excuse this little verse. You'll find it goes from bad to worse. But there is one thing it serves to do, because look at what we have for you. On the left is your handsome 1960 Speed Queen washer, featuring a lifetime stainless steel tub with a sediment ejector to keep your wash free from grit, you see. And now, just a minute. What's more, the lid locks automatically during the spin cycle to prevent any possible accidents, right? Right. Now, on the right is your new matching Speed Queen dryer. Notice, if you will, that the dryer opens at the touch of the toe and contains a novel inner door lint trap. All right, ye, just set the dial, push the button, and let your speed queen do the rest. It's all yours, the gifts, the wardrobe, your wish come through, everything. And we'll ensure it's safe arrival to you in the amount of $2,550. But we're not through yet. In a moment, we'll add still another surprise. Right. Meanwhile, here's an important message from the makers of Haley's M.O. Confusing, isn't it? So many different laxatives at the store. It would be a comfort if a doctor were there to help you choose. He can't be, of course. But remember this. Haley's M.O. does contain ingredients most widely recommended by doctors. Milk of magnesia and mineral oil. As the label tells you, Haley's M.O. is one, an antacid, two, a laxative, three, a lubricant, all three combined. Haley's M.O. is the world's best laxative because it's the triple action laxative. First, its antacid action relieves the acid stomach upset that so often accompanies irregularity. Then its laxative action provides prompt, thorough relief, while its lubricating action helps make sure relief is gentle, natural. Once more, you're completely yourself. Haley's M.O. stands out with ingredients doctors most widely recommend. Haley's M.O., the world's best laxative because it's the triple action laxative, regular or flavored. And now, Your Majesty, here comes the surprise we promised you. Your brother will soon be taking delivery on that special bed that we're sending him. And as we said before, we know it'll be exactly what you had in mind for him. However, we know how you women are. You got to kind of see and check it out for yourself. You can do that, Your Majesty. Any time you want to go, we're going to fly you back to Tennessee for a good long visit with your brother and your mother. How about that? <laughs> Seven years, time you got it. Congratulations to you and best wishes for a real thrilling reign. And now this is Jack Bailey saying goodbye and saying we wish we could make every lady in America queen for every single day. Bye. Stay tuned for About Faces, next over most of these stations. Gene Baker speaking, Queen Purvey is an ABC television network presentation.